While winter has not quite arrived in the Republic of Georgia, when it does, it means the staff and patients in three aerial hospitals will need something more than medicine. They'll need warm coats, since neither hospital has heat. But a partnership between the U.S. Agency for International Development and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Europe District will strive to eliminate the need for coats in those hospitals. So we are now going to be renovating three hospitals uh, in three different regions, uh, Ninetsminda, Akakalaki, and Akasike. And uh, we, of course, cannot do everything that has to be done with the funding that we have. USAID initially funded the hospital for $1.6 million to renovate the heating systems, repair the roofs and facades, replace windows, and provide new landscaping that will allow adequate drainage for rain and snow. Right now, because of the current condition of the entry, a patient might look at the outside and worry about the treatment they will receive inside. We have very qualified doctors at this hospital. The problem is the working environment. Inside the hospital, stairs and flooring need to be repaired and replaced. In the area's only infectious disease center, the working environment is more severely degraded. But the local government does not have the resources to make the upgrades needed. USAID recognized the scope of these projects and recently allocated another $1.1 million to fund further renovations. When renovations are complete in late 2011, the hospital will have heat and will better serve their community's health needs. There are not words to express how much this means to this community, and we will proudly take care of this gift from the American people. Carol Davis, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Europe District.